Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. A um, couple of uh, tenpenny common nails clamped into this vise. Um, I'll do a little bit of a, a demo to help clarify some things having to do with what happens to some steel uh, and when you heat it, even if you don't even get near its uh, melt point. Uh, there seems to be uh, some dislocation of um, theory, I guess, is the best way to put that uh, about this stuff. So, to, to try and keep this as simple as possible. Two nails have the same box uh, clamped into a vise and a pair of needle nose pliers here. And I'm going to put a right angle bend into this this nail. I grab this about halfway. And that took a bit of force and you can I might have put it out of focus but you know you see the radius of this bend. Um, what it is. In fact spin this round and check the radius of this bend. And, uh, you know, it took a little bit of a force to, uh, to do that That's at this temperature. Just, pardon me, check it, make sure I still can see. All right, that's just a propane uh, torch here. I'm going to heat this one up um, at this point and till it uh, just begins to glow a dull red. It's not daylight in here. I'm in my garage. Uh, there's plenty of light, but uh, we'll get this to, to glow on visibly just a little bit. visibly red. Well, it's still good enough. Just give this a twist. Notice the bend radius in that is so much tighter because it's so much softer. And it is. I mean, with one hand I can flex this. This one? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing doing. Not with these pliers. Not with this leverage. Uh, but this here, it, uh, it's, it, it, it's all over the place. Um, I'm going to let that cool, um, and it will still be soft, even after cooling. Of course, it's been annealed, um, and without proper quenching, you know, you can it's, imagine it's not going to be hardened, uh, if not work hardened, by me bending it. In any event. It's a little hot, but uh, okay. Well, cool enough for me to handle it, and yet it's still quite soft and, and malleable, pliable. It's plastic, so. If anybody thinks that, let's say for example the World Trade Center, that the temperatures needed to get up to the point where it melted steel and that could not possibly have happened because jet fuel doesn't get that hot when burning in open air. Um, that is not the point. The point is, is what happens to steel um, when it gets heated. It just has these nails. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Um, it softens, and it, you know, it's 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 it can no longer support uh, the mass it's it's holding uh, above. Uh, couple that with um, loss of support. You know, much of the structure was torn away. Um, 
so then the upper part had to, to rely on what was left of the supports below it and those were softened like this nail um, not to mention all kinds of other things going on I you know even if uh, some of the structure was not uh, removed completely it was it was it was displaced damaged bent if you like and you know all hell breaks loose it, 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 it so point here this is what happens when you heat steel and if it's structural and you heat it to a point and it, it's it it's it's going to collapse it's just going to collapse I hope this helps.